it's really it's really important for me to uh, come out and knock down open shots, rebound and stuff like that. So me being able to catch fire in the second half and bring us back within the within like a couple points in the game was really big for us, which got us going. And I was really happy to do that. Talk about some of the. Um, talk about some of the hustle plays. You were, you seemed like you brought some energy to the team, loose balls and things. You're really fighting for it. Talk a little bit about how that helps the team. Uh, yeah, my coaches, they really want me to come out and try to be the hardest playing dude out there, bring the best energy that I can, getting rebounds, getting loose balls, playing defense, anything I could do to help motivate my team to get going. What do you take out of this game? Uh, some people thought it was a measuring stick for you. Um, do you feel that it was? And just oh, your overall thoughts about, you know, playing the 15th ranked team in the country down to the wire? Uh, they're a good team. They ranked high because they, they're they supposed to be. And I don't think it was a measuring stick. It's more of what we're willing to do in the game, which our coach say every day at practice is not what you can do or what you're capable of doing. It's what you're willing to do. And we were willing to come down and fight to the end of the game. And it showed even though we came up a little short. Just to expand on that, what was the feeling like in the locker room? Was it a sense of disappointment? Was it a sense of accomplishment? Because you did erase that 14-point lead and tie it up? Or how did you uh, take this one? No, we're definitely disappointed. But I hope we can all uh, learn from this and take some from it to know that we can compete with the best teams, the top-ranked teams, if we're just willing to come in and do what we work on every day. What was the difference defensively for you all in the second half? Uh, the second half, we just knew we had to come out and stop giving up so many open shots because they were running some good sets and getting open shots. So we locked in on that and we kept rebounding, kept boxing out and that's what helped us get back into the game. Anything else, guys? One second. Go, sorry, Dan. Uh, what's it like going through that second half where you're facing 14 point deficit? Is it a every four minute or what kind of stretch do y'all talk about during that? Uh, we really just take it one position at a time. Each, each time we come down, if we get a stop, all right, let's try to get a score. Or if we don't score, we got to get a stop. So we just take it each position at a time. And once we get it down to a few positions, we're like, all right, we're down three positions. So what are we going to do? And it showed what we was going to do. We locked in and did what we had to do, but we just came up short. And then moving forward, what can a game like this do as you try to build momentum and still a young team and try to gain that experience? Uh, it definitely gives us confidence to know that we can compete with the best teams out there. So going forward, we just got to keep that in our mind, knowing that, hey, we play Memphis down to the last buzzer, even though we wanted to win. But the next team, if they are a ranked team, we know we can compete with them too. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.